Michigan gubernatorial candidate Ryan Kelly arrested by the FBI this morning at his home in Allendale. We're told he's facing charges in connection to the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Max Goldwasser has been following this story for us today. He is live in the newsroom with more info on this big development, Max. Yeah, Janice and Doug, the FBI started receiving tips about Kelly's apparent involvement in the insurrection back on January 16th, 2021. Of course, that is just 10 days after it happened, now after more than a year of investigating, the FBI raided his home today and put Kelly in custody. So now Kelly faces four federal misdemeanor charges. Uh, earlier today, you could see him leaving the U.S. District Court in downtown Grand Rapids. He had a smile on his face. He's going to kiss his wife here in a minute. He seemed very happy at that moment. His arraignment was at 2.30. Didn't last very long, though. He was released on his own recognizance earlier today, meaning he didn't have to post any bail. Walked out with his family, hugging people in the crowd, uh, a great deal of supporters who were there to see him. Now, he wouldn't speak with the media about his arrest, but when I asked him about all the supporters who were there to see him, he said, God bless America. And at one point, he even yelled out, Michigan's next governor, which would indicate that he does not plan to end his campaign for governor despite today's arrest. And speaking of that, here are the charges that Kelly is facing. There are four of them knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority, disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building or grounds, knowingly engage in any act of physical violence against press or property in any restricted building or grounds, and then finally willfully injure or commit any depredation against any property of the United States. Each of these comes with a maximum prison sentence of one year, but I'm told that they can be served concurrently, so at the same time. Michigan GOP Chairman Ron Weiser sending out this statement today saying that Democrats are weaponizing our justice system in an unprecedented way against their political opponents. We are not a third world nation. Law and order are the bedrock of our democracy, but justice is not served when it is driven by a political agenda. Families and children are now becoming victims of political theater meant to distract from the failures of democratic policy. It is shameful and it must end. I did speak with a law professor at Western Michigan University who tells me that he believes the FBI and Department of Justice are doing the right thing and should in fact move forward with arresting and charging people like Kelly for the insurrection. This was an attack on our temple of democracy. The U.S. Capitol is where our elective representatives, both the Senate and the House, uh, are reside, where are those individuals that we have entrusted to act on our behalf uh, in Washington uh, do their business. And they were doing so. They were engaged in uh, certifying the electoral college process at the very moment of this attack, which goes to the other part, which is that uh, this was not just an attack on the, the, the building. It was an attack on the, the democratic process that we all cherish and hold dear. So yes, even if it was uh, misdemeanor charges, I think that those individuals who were involved have to be held responsible. And remember, this all started, of course, earlier this morning when the FBI raided his home. These are some images and videos sent to us by a viewer who watched it all happen. They were there when this was going on. Told about six to eight unmarked FBI vehicles pulled up to his property. One neighbor told me nothing really got out of hand, just that Kelly walked out with his head down as he was taken into custody. Kelly himself has previously stated that he never entered the Capitol and never took part in any forceful acts that day. However, as you can see here, the FBI sent out a statement of facts that outlined Kelly's connection to those riots. Included in that statement are screenshots that show Kelly climbing onto an architectural feature. The FBI says Kelly then indicated to the crowd behind him that he should move forward. And then you can see him use his hands to support another rioter who was pulling the metal barricade onto the scaffolding where Kelly was. We do have the full statement of facts in the online version of the story right now on fox17online.com if you do want to see it. And like I said, it looks like today's arrest will not affect his campaign. He made it seem very clear that he will continue his run for governor. He is one of five Republican candidates left in the running after five others were removed from the August primary because of all those unvalid signatures that we've talked about so many times here on Fox 17. In the meantime, though, his initial court hearing has been scheduled for June 16th at 1 p.m. In the newsroom, Max Goldwasser, Fox 17 News.